morning. Welcome to another vlog. I just went for a my morning walk. I'm gonna put you on top of this. I went for my morning walk. Now I'm gonna have some magnesium from Moon Juice. I love this stuff. Magnesium is good for sore muscles, to help you to relax, for menstrual cramps, your mood. It's good for literally every body function. So I just put one teaspoon of this in my morning, preferably coconut water, but I don't have coconut water right now. It just tastes so good with cocoa water. So I'm going to show you a little bit about moon juice, which is my favorite adaptogenic brand. I have its little corner right here and you can tell I'm obsessed, right? I love adaptogens. They're like, they're herbs that help balance anything that's going on in your body, either for mood, stress, focus. There's also adaptogens for beauty, for energy, sex dust, spirit dust. So what these are, these black ones are independent adaptogens, which this one's just ashwagandha, chaga, shisandra. Like these are just one, right? All of those, pearl, mukuna, maca, I have cacao. But these... Moon juice makes them specifically for example, let me do this one, dream dust. So dream dust is to help you sleep. So for example, dream dust, what they do is that these little bottles, they combine specific herbs that are specifically for dreaming, like sleeping. One is for energy, one is for focus, things that help you with beauty. So they just put together a blend of the adaptogens that are for that and they sell them in one bottle so you could get all of them in one so that's pretty cool and my new favorite thing is this because this came out recently it's called ting and it has ginseng for met for energy it has a b complex this is basically for the morning, which I love taking, but I take this in the morning as well, magnesium, because I do tend to get a lot of anxiety and like heart palpitations and stuff like that. So when I take this in the morning, it makes, it helps me like go through my day very smooth without like having anxiety or like heart palpitations. So this helps me secure a really relaxed, nice day apart from on top of everything that I have to do, I still don't get anxiety because of the magnesium. So magnesium is really important. Also, I get excruciating menstrual cramps and magnesium helps for that. So that's my little moon juice corner. I love them. I love all their adaptogens. I'm going to put a code. You can use Judith L. Reels for 15% off your entire order. It doesn't have to be your first order. You can reuse the code. I just love these and they also have skincare which I have some skincare on the way so I can show you guys but yeah just wanted to share that little part of my morning routine with you Stuart I am showered and I feel so much more energized Alfredo wants me to make him a fruit bowl so that's what we're gonna do So if you, find, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a fruit bowl fanatic in the mornings. I love, love eating fruits in the morning. It's like it gets you ready for, like it fills you up, but it doesn't make you heavy and you don't feel like it gives you more energy and it doesn't bring you down. Like opposed to me eating like a heavy meal in the morning, I'm like so blah throughout my entire day. But when I start my days with like a smoothie or fruit bowl, it just, it gives me energy. Like I feel so better. I don't feel, I don't feel weight down. It's the best. So I'm going to use this almond yogurt. Oh 
always berries and always cherries, cacao nibs, and ground the flax. That's my little fruit bowl ritual. But I used to do banana. I don't do banana anymore because I'm trying to get rid of just sugar overall. Like banana is not bad to eat. Don't stop eating bananas now just because I said sugar and banana in the same sentence. But because of my stomach, I'm trying something out to see if it works. Okay, to see if it works. And so far I feel pretty good because I'm the type of person that ate ate like four bananas in a day, maybe even more. Um, so I really like started cutting down, like I haven't eaten a banana in I think a couple of months now and I have I was like a super banana fanatic. But yeah, I feel a little bit better. Maybe it just doesn't go well with my system, but it's not something that you have to watch out for. Bananas are great for you. I love bananas. But I've just been trying to have my sugar levels be like for it not to spike so much because I would eat dates and bananas like crazy. And even though they're natural, they're organic, they come from the earth, it does spike your, your blood sugar. So I wanted to keep my blood sugar as even as I possibly could. So that's why basically I haven't eaten bananas anymore. Also, a quick little tip if you're interested on in keeping your blood sugar stable and not having it spike up so much, what I do is I drink this before like a sugary meal. Like if I'm gonna have carbs, if I'm gonna eat like a fruit, if I'm gonna eat like ice cream or anything like that, or sometimes I'm just hungry, like really hungry, and there's nothing to eat. I've done this before. I like, I had zero food in my house and I was hungry. And I'm like, damn, like what the hell do I do? Like I'm super hungry. I literally just put a little bit of this in water and I drank it and it took away my hunger. So, that's my secret weapon for whenever I don't know what the hell to eat because I don't have anything and I have to go grocery shopping. It's not, obviously, it's not good to do that. You have to eat, but I'm not going to lie. I've done that sometimes because there's something to eat and I get really hungry. But it just quells your hunger. And if you drink apple cider vinegar before your meals, you're going to eat less. Your blood sugar is not going to spike. It's great for your... For your gut, it keeps your gut healthy with good bacteria, feeds good bacteria. So apple cider vinegar is great. We want to start incorporating that. I usually have a sip of it in the morning, but I didn't do that today. I'm not very like strict when it comes to what I do in the morning. The only thing is like fruits, fruits in the morning. Unless I am craving something super heavy or whatever like sometimes I do have toast with avocado but yeah like sometimes I'll have lemon water in the morning or apple cider vinegar sometimes I have both I drink lemon water and then I drink some apple cider vinegar a couple of minutes after um I get I have my vitamins in the morning sometimes I have them in the afternoon after I eat so everything is very depending on my mood and what day it is or if I even remember all right so this is an antioxidant packed fruit bowl I would put some kiwi in here but I don't have so cherries are amazing that's great Cherries are amazing to eat. They're filled with so much antioxidants and I'm having purple and red pigment fruits, which is amazing in the morning. Some blueberries. You should eat blueberries every single day. If you listen to my 
eight healthy, easy tips on my podcast, The Goodness Club. I mentioned berries on there. They are the number one thing that I always strive to have. Sorry, they're doing construction next door and it kind of sounds, I don't know if you can hear it. But yes, I try to incorporate berries. I don't try to because I love them. So it's not really like a try, like I just do it naturally. But I always have berries in the day. Go listen to the Goodness Club podcast, my podcast episode, I think two, eight healthy tips. And I talk about berries and all the benefits. Basically, if you're going to eat a fruit, have it be berries. And some grounded flax. And there. That is that is our fruit bowl for today. And I kind of just if before I would put some banana and some dates. So if you're somebody that just wants a little bit sweet, throw some bananas and dates on this. Like cut up chopped dates. So bomb. It's so 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 good. Trust me. And I do like my my fruits frozen because I feel like I'm having, I don't know, it feels different. I just like the consistency better eating frozen fruits with yogurt than eating the fruits normal temperature. Mm. I love it. I usually eat from this plate. It's so pretty. I got it at Goodwill for like a dollar. I love this plate. Oh. See you later. don't show this side of my work life just because I think it's boring but I'm just gonna give you a glimpse of what my actual work looks like there's a video being processed because I have to edit it for a new episode for goodness club I do like these videos that are for every episode and then you can hear clips of me talking just so you can get a glimpse of what that episode is about so I had to go through this entire episode i deleted it already but i had to go through this entire episode listen to it see what clips sounded like the summary of this episode i saved it send it to my phone i'm now creating a video with the noise like with the voice so i'm creating that video so it could go up on goodness club instagram and on this tiktok i'm gonna record another episode right now i'm picking one of my favorite topics I'm gonna do soy and magnesium. I'm gonna try and see if I get if I can get those two podcasts recorded. I'm gonna be talking about that for the next couple of weeks. I am also studying. Oh my goodness. I am also studying um, because I need to get some study stuff done. I uploaded a video that I had done yesterday about my basil pesto recipe. So I uploaded that on Goodness Club and on, what's that called? TikTok. You're so cute. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. I was doing something before this. Oh yeah, I had to send over content. This is how it looks um for an event that i went to so i had to make those stories and those feed posts i have to put it on here and then i had to send them to get approved but this is basically what my day my work life looks like podcasting studying editing videos taking pictures i actually want to take a picture i want to create a little outfit video next I'm gonna see if I could do that. Um, and so cute. And I totally forgot to take my hair vitamin pills, so I'm gonna do that right now. I've been taking this, these hair and energy pills. I didn't want to give a review about this because it hasn't been long 
since I've started drinking them. But today, for the past couple of two days, like the last two days, I have noticed something different with my hair. So I'm pretty sure it's the pills, obviously. My hair grows pretty fast. So that's not, there's always hair all over the floor. Okay, my hair grows pretty fast. That's never been an issue, um, but it was losing its like fullness. I've always had lion's hair, like very thick hair, but it was losing its, its fullness because of um, the coloring and stuff like that. And it was getting brittle and like just dull. dull. So I'm noticing a change in the thickness in how much hair like it looks like I have more now because before it was looking very thin which was really weird because my hair has always been thick but it was losing that so now I'm gaining that back I'm noticing more baby hairs here more than usual it's just thicker and fuller um and for my hair my hair grows pretty long but it's even longer like I know that it's growing way longer like way faster than it usually does so I do notice some stuff. This is not promoted. This is not like paid. This is not, I, I, I didn't partner up with them or anything. This is just my actual, my personal review on these hair and energy pills. And they do give me energy. That for sure I noticed since like the first week. They give me energy because I'm able to stay awake until very late, like 11. And I still have energy. I'm still good to go. But then as soon as I get in bed I knock out so it keeps me energized but not in a way that it stops me from sleeping because as soon as I hit the bed I'm out so yeah just wanted to fill you in on what I'm doing right now I'm going to get this started and I will be back later Okay, I just finished recording the soy episode for Goodness Club. So if you want to listen to the soy episode, it's going to be up in about two, three weeks. I am, I'm really, you know, advanced. But um, I mean, <laughs> I'm really recording things with a lot of time. So that's good. And guys, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so. If you don't know this about me, I don't really buy expensive bags other than my Chloe bag that I bought. It was like the Chloe beige backpack thing, which I totally regret. Cannot believe I spent like a thousand dollars and something, thousand four hundred dollars on that bag. That's ridiculous. I would never spend so much money on a bag. I don't think, unless I'm like gifted a bag, I'd be like, thank you so much. I don't know. And right now, in my phase in life, I would not spend so much money on a bag, even though I find bags super pretty, like that Chanel beige bag. I love the Chanel beige bag and like, whatever. I love bags. I don't love bags. I'm just wrong. I'm just mad. I'm, I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. Moving on. These are the only two bags that I own not that I own, that I have bought with my own money and that I use every day because obviously I'm gifted purses from brands. I love Dagna Dover brand for like traveling and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you Dagna Dover. Can you? Okay, so this is Dagna Dover. That's the back. This is Dagna Dover, right? I love, love this brand for traveling for like big bags, this this is the large one, I think, but there's like a medium-sized one. I have it in blue, I have it in beige. I have the fanny pack that I take on with me on walks in the morning, it's the same exact color. So I love this brand for travel, business, and like gym bags, I think they're so cute. I've had one of them for like years, 
and it still looks really good in the material the quality i just love this bag i don't know if you can see it's beautiful they have black blue they have like some prints this is my favorite color um yeah i love this bag so dagna dover for that Oh, I might as well do like a bag show off or whatever. A bag haul. This is my Chloe bag. This is the only other bag I ever spend money on. If somebody wants this, I'm selling it. It's brand new. There's no scratches. There's nothing. I promise it's brand new. Hold on. It's like brand new, guys. I wore it. I take really good care of my stuff. And I'm just one of those people that never breaks their things or gets things spilled on. I'm just one of those people. Alfred, on the other hand, all his shirts, all his shoes look like they've he's been using them for years. And I don't understand. But I'm sorry. The camera's like really low. But okay. This is the Chloe bag. This is the only other bag I've spent money on. And... Just for the sake of showing you what bags I have, I bought this Marc Jacobs book bag a while back. I think it was two years ago. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I still do. I, I, I think it's cute, but I actually never wore it. Can you believe that? This is on my compulsive buying days. I will never be like that again. Um, okay. Oh, JK. So this is the bag. I think it's pretty cool. I really liked the inside. It was like I was buying it just for like that just in case um, travel. Like having a book bag for travel and it's Marc Jacobs. Like I don't know. I thought it was super cute. So this is the only other like travel bag I guess. Because it's not really like a bag for your everyday. But this is another bag I've bought with my own money. So, if you were to ask me what bags have I spent money on, it have been it would be these and the Chloe bag. Those are the only bags I've ever spent money on and I only use this one. This is the first one I ever purchased and I did it so mindfully like i made sure that i was going to use this purse every single day and guys i've used this purse every single day for the past four years it's been this purse and it looks brand new it looks brand freaking new and i love what is this i love 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 dylan kane that is the brand of these two bags i purchased this bag from dylan kane because I wanted something like square at the moment. I wasn't that mindful when I was buying this bag. Hence, I don't wear it that much. But I think it's, just, it's still like a, a really cute bag to have, you know. But this is more my style. I like like really small petite bags that you can wear. It just looks classier, looks cuter, looks minimal. I don't know, I like this style. And I would sell this bag. I would sell it. So if somebody wants this bag, just DM me on Instagram. I'm down to sell it. Like always, I get rid of things that I don't wear. I practice minimalism. I try to buy. I do buy mindfully. I make sure that whatever I buy, I'm going to use for a really long time now. Because before, I was like a compulsive buyer. And I was just really into mind this buying but yeah these are this is one of my really good purchases i use it all the time it's from dylan kane so the whole point of this is that i love dylan kane purses i partnered up with them one time they sent me a bag that i didn't want though so i gave that back to my mom just so she can take you know so she could use it because i wasn't going to personally use that brand i mean that bag I love, love their bags though. I just wasn't in love with that one. Therefore, I gave it to my mom. But now, Black Friday hit and they had things in 30% off. So I've been eyeing this bag since July of this year. But I didn't buy it because obviously I wasn't going to like, you know, I was still, 
I, I practice minimalism. I don't like spending on things that, like for example, I already have a black a bag. It's that black one. I already have it. I use it every single day. Why do I need another bag? Um, that's just how I think about things. But since Black Friday hit and I've been upgrading my wardrobe, I've been really like trying to be creative with my wardrobe and I'm at a time where I am, there was a time where I was expressing my, myself through interior design, but now I'm at a time where I'm expressing myself through my style. Like I want to evolve my style. I want to be able to explore different things with my style but in a minimal way also sustainably i'm not gonna buy anything that is not is that, that is like trendy or that it's just you know but this bag i do not have a brown bag like a normal brown bag opposed for the chloe but it's like a book bag and i don't even want it i'm selling it so guys i ordered this brown bag from dylan kane in black friday so i got it 30 percent off and i think that was about like 200 or 100 dollars off from its original price and the other thing that i love about dylan kane is that they are not expensive bags they are the most i think 500 dollars but they are no more than 500 dollars so this bag cost me 200 in black friday so that's what i love about these bags they're genuine they're genuine leather like you saw the one that i have it has been four years old i wear it every single day and it looks brand spanking new so i love that about these bags that they are affordable they are beautiful designs this is not an ad this is not promoted i'm not getting paid to say this i genuinely love this brand and i will keep promoting them as long as I am wearing them um their packaging is beautiful it's an Australian brand I love Australian brands I literally I cannot wait like I want to move there with Alfredo I just love Australia but this is the packaging so it always comes in a black box and then it comes in like like if you just got it from little shopping bag like with a little shopping bag, it's so cute. Oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, ah, I'm excited. Okay, so you take it out. It comes in its little dust bag. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I freaking love this bag. I love that it's affordable. It is such a beautiful leather bag. Oh, like this is my kind of buy. Like, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. All right. So it brings the leather strap that you can put on. But I am a huge fan, huge, huge, huge fan of chain bags. I love, well, not really chain bags. I just love the chain bags from Dylan Kane. Guys, I'm freaking out. Wait, how do you put this on? Okay. So this bag was $360. But, wait, is that an Australian? No. This bag was $360 and I paid two something for it because of Black Friday. So, you know, I had to get it because, like, I told Alfredo and, like, I tell myself, I buy minimal. But when I buy something, I make sure it's not something that I already have at home. For example, I wasn't going to buy myself another black bag unless I get rid of that one. So I'm always like, if I'm going to buy something of something else, I have to either get rid of what I have or make sure that it's not something I already own. And I don't have a brown little bag. So I think this was the perfect purchase for me. Oh my God, guys. I'm dead.
I'm done. Obviously, the sweater's too big. I'm not gonna wear it with this sweater. <gasps> but it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at this bag. You might not like it, but I like it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Here. All I need is my phone and my cards. And Alfredo recently got me a freaking pepper spray to take with me whenever I go on my walks. But yeah, my pepper spray, I guess, fits in here too. Oh my god. I gotta show you this. If my face is white, it's because I put sunscreen on. And I guess I didn't do it correctly. Oh my god. Star of the show. I can't wait to take new pictures. I love this purse. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got it. I was like on the fence about it when I was purchasing. I take forever to purchase things. Alfredo wants to kill me sometimes. But I take like weeks or maybe months to purchase something. Like imagine, I didn't purchase this for like the whole seven months that I wanted this bag and I still never got it. I mean five months. I take forever to like pull the trigger but I'm so happy I waited. I got it on sale and it's so pretty oh my god okay guys that's enough i think okay that's enough content right for the purse i'm okay i'll be fine i'll put some pictures now and put it on insta because i love you i love her i'm gonna call her jade her name is jade she looks like a jade yeah jade I'm very basic as in I will call her camel just because she looks like camel color. But Alfredo tells me to diversify <laughs> my names. So I'm going to call her Jade. She's so pretty. All right, guys, that's enough. I just finished recording the episode. I'm going to record a magnesium episode now. And I made a mess in like two seconds. Say bye, Gordo. Bye, B. I'm gonna take a break from all of that and I'm going to make myself a daily harvest bowl. I have to cook some potatoes for Alfredo so I don't really wanna cook for myself. And what I do in these situations is that I use daily harvest. I love these meals. They are frozen. They don't have any additives though. All the, all the ingredients are organic. It's really healthy. There's nothing else I can say about it. I love them. I love how they taste. They're super easy to make. I just take them out and I place them on the stove top and I heat them up. And my favorite ones are the sweet potato. I'm going to put my favorite ones down below because I've tasted all of them, literally all of them. So I'm going to put my favorite ones in the summary below. So you guys can check those out because there are some that are not to my liking, but maybe that's just me. So yeah, I'll put my favorite ones down below. I'm gonna heat this up. I do not put any oil in my pans when I heat when I heat up my food. What I do do is that I'll probably put a little bit of veggie broth in there just to replace the oil, but it doesn't need it doesn't need oil. And plus, you don't want to be cooking with inflammatory oils or heating stuff up with oils. Like, you want to minimize that as less as you can. So, yeah, I'm just going to heat that up. I'm going to eat. I still have to record another ad for the podcast. I finished one. And I still have to make a video. I still have to do a video. Okay. I think at this point, I'm just going to eat my food. And I'm going to cut it for today, but I am going to show you a little event that I went to two days ago. Or I think it was yesterday. No, it was two days ago. I went to this incredibly cool event two days ago, which sometimes I feel so fortunate and grateful to be invited to these events. Sometimes I show up at an event and I'm like, what the hell am I doing here? why was i invited to this but it's just so cool this is like the cool part of the job and where i got paid to go to which is insane i'm just gonna disclose that with you all and all i had to do was like post some stories 
and a feed post and I got to experience the most incredible night that I had no idea I needed. It was the coolest thing. We got there, we sipped rosé. I don't really drink alcohol like at all but I figured I was never going to do like a wine tasting type of situation. Not never but this is the closest like the, the fastest that I was going to get wine tasting because it's not really my thing. I wouldn't pay for that since I don't drink alcohol. So I did just relax and I enjoyed it there. I didn't even drink a whole full cup of wine. I literally just took sips just to taste like what the woman was talking about. Like the, the fruitiness and, and the flowery and the, and the zest that's inside of the wine, the rosé. And you really do taste the difference. It's so cool. I really enjoyed that part like tasting like the different rosés and it was it was fun so we got there we painted they gave us rosé they were going around with like little snacks and like things to eat and it was so cool because they asked me before going to the event if I had a preference in the food that I ate and they were able to accommodate that for me and one of the girls that went like we were plant-based so the chef, the chef made alternative plant-based eight course meal which was insane. Everything was what when, when they were eating lamb, we were eating like I forgot what it was replaced, but they were eating like a tuna tart and we ate like a beet tart. Like it was so cool. And then first we painted, then we painted some butterflies, then we went outside to the hotel's backyard thing situation where there was like lights everywhere and we got to paint at night with some rose. Then we went to like the table where it was the eight course meal and they introduced to us all the eight bottles of rosé and they and we spoke about it we tasted the wine we had good conversation i was surrounded by so many nice cool girls and it was just an incredible incredible night but yeah um i had so much fun at this event and it's just so cool to be able to experience this, these things on the other side of the job, you know, about creative marketing and all of that. But I'm going to, you're going to see that next. So I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next vlog, next video. Bye. I'm getting ready to go for an event and this is my outfit. This is from Naked Fashion. This skirt is from Zara. Purse is from Dylan Kane, heels is from Schutz. I've been wearing this skirt way too much. I just, it's so cute. I love it. We're gonna get some wine tasting. We're gonna have a, a like five course meal by chef, I think. I'm really not sure what this event is about, but I will take you guys with me. So let's see if we can film some things there. <music> Thank you. 